Marie Stewart was born on September 11, 1880, in Peru, Indiana. After graduating from Smith College, Marie returned to her hometown and married Richard Edwards. She helped her husband with his business, the Peru Chair Company, and gave birth to their only child, Richard Arthur, in 1909. Like most ladies of her social class, Marie joined women's organizations and supported suffrage, carefully avoiding more radical factions. But she was not one to fade into the crowd. At over six feet tall, the Los Angeles Evening Express said, Mrs. Edwards ranks not only one of the best looking in the movement, but one of the most rational, a diplomatist of obvious talent. As president of the Women's Franchise League of Indiana, she helped Hoosier women gain partial suffrage through the Maston-McKinley Act in 1917, allowing them to vote in upcoming municipal elections. However, the dream was short-lived. The state Supreme Court ruled the law unconstitutional. Undeterred, women across the country took the fight to the national stage. Marie continued her work with the Franchise League and simultaneously managed her husband's factory while he served in World War I. She resigned from her post in 1919 to work with the National Women's Suffrage Association. She also co-founded the League of Women Voters with Emma Smith DeVoe. With the passing of the 19th Amendment in 1920, the League of Women Voters focused on helping women exercise their newly won right to vote. Marie served as the first national treasurer and as the organization's vice president until 1923. After traveling the country on the speaker circuit, Marie Stewart Edwards returned to Peru to contribute locally. She was the first woman to serve on the Peru Board of Education. She chaired the WPA in her county during the Great Depression. She volunteered with the Red Cross during World War II, and she served on the State Women's Prison Parole Board in the 1950s. Headstrong is made possible through the generous support of PNC Bank and a grant from American Experience.